Well, two weeks ago, Diana Tarazi once again etched her name in the history books, becoming the first WNBA player to score 10,000 career points. Now in her 19th season as a pro, there's few things she has not accomplished. DT has a league MVP award, three WNBA championships, five Olympic gold medals. And today I got to talk to her one on one to find out how the goat keeps going. There really isn't one way that is the proper way to shoot. Yeah. Put your elbow in, put your, why? Why, why put your elbow in? Yeah. You know, square your, uh, your shoulders up to the, to the rim, why? So shoot your regular free throw, shoot your regular free throw. How would you regularly shoot? 1992, yes. Don Eddy's shooting camp what would have Don been. What did Don say? Don said to put your pinky okay. right here. You're saying these two fingers don't matter. So Don, Don's already in the red. Right, okay. So you're saying these and just let it fly. But if you turn a little. Yeah. Interesting, because it's like. You could turn your shoulders on. too. Turn your shoulders too a little bit. There you go. Interesting, okay. Wow, I have noticed that there's a lot of times where you will land and I'm like, that's Kobe. That shot has evolved during, you know, I think the 2000s where it was a lot of mid-range, a lot of triangle basketball, right? Everyone has their own recipe to make themselves a better shooter. When you caught it, three points away from 10,000. I mean, was there a better situation for you to be in than a double team? I mean. It was, at that point, I was just so ready to get over with. You know, um, as the game started, I wasn't feeling great. You know, I was a little anxious. Um, you know, whenever something's meant to happen, uh, I've never felt really comfortable with that. Did you look up at the clock and see what the clock said when it you went know, in? You know, the next day someone sent me a picture and it had 824 on it, which, you know, I'm not big on miracles, uh, but, that's a pretty cool coincidence, and uh, you know, Kobe was a great friend, and uh, to think just symbolism alone, it was pretty cool. What does it mean to have 10,000? If I would have told you that in the third grade, you would play professional basketball yeah. and score 10,000 points, what would you have told me? I definitely wouldn't have uh, believed you. Um, you know, I always loved to play basketball. That was just, as a little kid, that was, I was just I was always attracted to playing basketball. What's left for you? What, what, what are you still chasing? I mean, I still have, you know, this hunger to, to win another championship here, you know, in Phoenix. It's been so long. You know, when you get to this point, nothing comes easy anymore. Um, and I've talked about it a lot. The prep work is almost harder and more grueling than the game. You know, before I used to just show up, play, and go home. Now i got to get to the gym at 4. There's this long routine to activate and just feel ready to play the game. And then after the game, there's a cool down and I lift. Um, you know, and uh, I guess that's the, the evolution of being a 40-year-old athlete. All right, let me see what you got. Last one for the people at home. Oh, gosh. For the people at for home. For Eddie. For Eddie. Oh, gosh. For Eddie. Oh, yeah. oh I was fouled. <laughs>